Got many property agents saying asset progression, sell one buy two. How come you say 5k cannot? I want to complain you. Wow, don't be so serious leh. This is just basically my personal opinion. Nah. Okay, let's face it this way. There are easily 33,000 agents in Singapore right now. We all run our business differently. We all have our own values, thoughts, knowledge and position in how we want to run our business. I cannot speak for anybody else, but whoever that's looking at this video, even as property agents, don't be angry. This is not direct to anybody. It's just my personal opinion. There are some agents who basically has a different view of how they want to manage the customer's portfolio. The customer could also be in line with this particular position of their objective. They managed to find a way to help them to actually position, sell one and buy two. But personally, in terms of calculations, a 5,000, it is definitely not possible to buy two. That is a definite no. Okay, maybe they have some ways of doing it. Maybe from the existing place they sold, there are certain CPF sales proceeds that comes back. They buy something that of a smaller scale, a lower quantum, and the other one probably they are able to understand the fact that they have to rent. Because the moment you sell your one property, just imagine I sell one, and if I were to buy two, likely chance you'll be buying two new launches. Then you have no place to stay. Right? Then you have to rent. Then you have to do your math, you know. If I rent a place for just the two of us, all right, we, we don't need a big place. For today's market, easily also 3000 for a condominium. If you would have profited from the first one, and let's say easily it takes three years for the property to be built, huh, you are looking at 36000 times three, which easily 100000 gone already for just renting. Then you left with 200 or less for your current one that you actually exit from. You need to ask yourself, does the game, does the sums add up to make sense or not? And have you ever imagined if let's say one day one of you were to lose your job, then how? You'll be caught. There are some cases uh, we hear uh, that they do this format not because of they earn 5,000, they actually earn even more. Uh. They do this kind of format and they get into trouble because one of them won't lose the income. They will not have the ability to pay for the other one. Even they could have been collecting a rental and most of the time, the rental still will not be able to pay for their mortgage. Do consider properly before you want to act on something like this. 